Good morning. This is Bhutan Last Week, coming to you from a studio in Bebenak Temple. First, the headlines of the week. Bhutan increasingly under pressure to contain local transmission of COVID-19 with sleepovers on the rise. A lewd video is making rounds on social media and men are getting offended. Chili grows of summer tree in Dagana like bamboo. Another video has been widely circulating but giving its viewers some good memory offs. In world news, USA struggles with being USA and a tale of two billionaires. In science, a nasal COVID vaccine on trial. Our picks of the week include an Instagram page and a Bhutanese music video. Joining us today will be Mr. Vijay of RSCB to explain about the stock market in Bhutan. Now, the news in detail. A serious case of love thy neighbor gone bad was discovered on the 6th of January 2020. 21 cases were detected that day, out of which some of them contracted COVID after they went to sleep in the neighbor's house. So far, the only conclusion that has come from the incident, sharing is spreading. In national updates, Bhutan has registered more than 800 cases as of today. The government urges the public to refrain from such activities and to follow proper COVID protocols. A minute-long clip of non-consensual video has been making rounds on social media platforms this past week. The police have registered the case after the girl telephoned them. The man, who previously seemed to have made similar videos, is yet to be apprehended as he is in a covid risk zone. We reached out to some men who commented in various Amgizam status on Facebook on the same for the views. Knowing the risk why women are agreeing to film such video, on my point of view, women should also be punished for such matter to avoid future complaint. I didn't even heard about that video earlier, but sure you are one of the culprit because I heard about this video twice from you, so does many of your followers would have. <laughs> to be sincere, I believe you shouldn't have post posted about this scandal. People like us wasn't even aware of this and people like us got more curious about this scandal. No offense, but if you have not posted, posted this, many of people would not be aware of this. We here at the new studio do confirm about the Strassen effect where an effort to hide information leads to unintended consequence of making it more famous. But in our good conscience, we can tell you that this is not the case. Namgizam has, was and will always be fighting on this front and she is a torchbearer for such cases to be understood more in public. A case in point, she submitted a plea to the then lynch in 2014 for stricter rules on sexual materials distribution in 2014. I have also got a kid to weigh on his opinion. As a kid, I, I support Namgi Auntie because you should not be sharing such videos. I have no way uncles are having a hard time understanding it. In the next news, villagers in Samar Shudagana have found an innovative way to grow chili saplings using bamboo. Previously, they used plastics imported from India, but due to COVID, they had to improvise. The bamboo cups better help in the growth and transplantation. After the government ban on green chilies from India, the Georg has increased its, its production with about seven acres of land dedicated to chilies in 2020. With all the gloom and doom of the nationwide lockdown, a very happy and a funny clip of a Bhutanese policeman politely asking the Indian counterparts who had come for a picnic to be safe at the border has gone viral. It was also featured in Ismojo, a news website of Northeast India. <laughs> आज भूटान इंडिया में कोरोना वायरस मिल गया इसलिए हम लोग का भूटान में अभी कोविड-19 दोस विद द मेजर लोकल हेडलाइंस ऑफ द वीक टाइम फॉर सम वर्ल्ड न्यूज़ अ मेजर इंसिडेंट ऑकर्ड इन द कैपिटल बिल्डिंग ऑफ यूएसए व्हेन प्रोटेस्टर्स सपोर्टिंग डोनाल्ड ट्रंप स्टार्टेड ब्रेकिंग द बैरियर्स एंड एंटर्ड इनसाइड द मेंबर्स ऑफ द सेनेट वर टेकन टू अ सेफ प्लेस this was after Donald Trump made his speech and asked his supporters to march to the Capitol building. This was widely condemned even by Trump's own Republican Party, but critics say it has been too late as the Republican Party has supported Trump all the way in his false claims. At the end of the day, Joe Biden was formally declared as president-elect and will be sworn in with his vice president, Kamala Harris, the first Asian woman, the first black woman to be ever elected to the office. Two billionaires made big news this week. Elon Musk and Jack Ma. Elon Musk surpassed Jeff Bezos to become the richest man in the world. 
the man who started out his entrepreneurship bigly with PayPal now heads SpaceX, a private space transportation company, and Tesla, an electric car company. Jack Ma, the Chinese billionaire and co-founder of the Alibaba Group, has not been seen in public in the past two months, raising speculations. In science, more good news coming in the COVID front with scientists in the UK starting a trial on a nasal COVID vaccine. Unlike the usual vaccines that need to be injected, this vaccine can directly be inhaled as the first contact of the virus is in the nasal tract. This has already been proven successful in mice, but the three trials will require some time before it can be ruled out. Our next segment in the news is Know Something, and joining us today is Mr. Vijoy, ICT Head at RSEB Head Office. Royal Securities Exchange of Bhutan is the sole authority of stocks in Bhutan, and that's as far as we know. So here is a short snippet of the long conversation we had. Hello everyone, this is Know Something. Joining us today is Mr. Vijoy. Welcome Vijoy to Bhutan this week. And the first question in everyone's mind is, what is RSEB? Hi, uh, RSEB or the Royal Securities Exchange of uh, Bhutan is the only stock exchange in Bhutan. Uh, it was uh, established in the year 1993. Uh, currently there are 20 listed companies and uh, seven registered brokers. And these brokers are the only a legal entity who can buy and sell shares on behalf of their clients. We have heard some technical terms in there, but what does RSEB actually do? Well, the stock exchange has uh, various roles and uh, responsibilities. Uh, just to mention a few, uh, the primary purpose of uh, the stock exchange is to broad-based the economy or the wealth distribution. It also provides liquidity in the market and it also provides a marketplace, a regulated marketplace for buy and sale of uh, shares. Uh, it is also a marketplace where it consolidates uh, demand and supply of shares to discover fair uh, price of the shares. I hope our viewers have now understood the rules and what is RSAB. But the most question we get around here is, is a stock exchange a viable future for investments? Well, uh, there are various uh, avenues for investments. Uh, basically, there are, there is uh, fixed deposits or recurring deposits or uh, basic savings account or you can either invest in uh, real estate or you can invest in jewelry and uh, or you can uh, invest in the capital market uh, by investing in the stocks and it all depends upon your personal preferences, uh, I feel and the level of uh, personal finance advocacy that you have and I believe uh, as a Bhutanese uh, most of us are literate but we are not financially literate we do not know how to manage our personal finances and that was a short clip from a know something segment which will be premiered in a few days I'm sure our viewers will get much information from that we further learn about shares, when to invest, how to invest from the man himself. Thank you, Vijay, for being with us. Those were the news of the week. Let's look onto some pics of the week. In this segment, we'll look for Facebook pages, Instagram pages, YouTube channels, which are interesting and you should follow. Our pick of the week is an Instagram page known as Bhutanish. This page, as the profile itself explains, is a collection of Bhutanese English phrases, words and idioms. Its speciality being that only Bhutanists will understand. Some of the examples like Shurgoti, Autobook, Shambhukam and many others. Do visit the page for more laughs. We will end the news program with a song of the week, which has sinfully low views for a good content, good music and a good video. It may have been big if made by an international star. This is It's Alright by Legs in Inkley. Enjoy a few seconds of this. Visit the link for full video. Happy week everyone. Be safe. Bye.